Hi, it's Vex. Today, we are gonna open some more Double Masters VIP right there. Oh, we were so excited from the other um, box opening. You gotta look at it, you know, view it here. That we just went right right to our uh, local LGS, bought more. Like, it was just, I was just, I said it in there, I was so excited I might buy more, and guess what? I just ran out, you know, a couple hours later and just, boom, got more. This, this is uh, exciting times. Let's see if we get hosed. Um, we don't want to get hosed. No way do we want to get hosed. Four boxes of Double Masters VIP edition. That's only four booster packs for four hundred dollars. Um, definitely, if you can, you know, support your local LGS. Uh, I'm not at my uh, my house. I'm, I just went to my local LGS. I'm uh, visiting my parents, and I, I I go to that LGS every time I visit my parents. So the guy knows me pretty well. You know, um, so, you know, always support your local LGS. It's packaging, save this UPC. You might be able to get a free pack of Double Masters for every UPC that you send in. Um, there's a red thread about it, so you can just Google that real quick. All right, let's see what we get. We're looking for Tron pieces. Full regular Force of Will. Full regular Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt, Force of Will. That's it. That's all we're looking for. I mean, obviously we're looking for other cards, but we want to hit Double Jackpot. Uh... Double jackpot is what we want. Let's see if double jackpot this will give. All right, plant. Oh, this is so cool. Avengers Zendikar plant token. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna really place all my plant tokens with these foil ones. Um, all right, the commons here. Let's see if I got any good commons. Get a little closer to the camera. Surge node. This is in uh, the core tapper deck in modern. It's like a tier three deck. Oh, no. Pieces for our Tron deck. So sad, so sad. Real Smith. This is like, you know, again, that vintage combo was pretty cool. I've been lying. Oh, here's here's a combo of vintage right there. Oval Chase Daredevil, Real Smith. Um, it's a pretty neat combo. I think I won the Vintage Challenge, so it's uh, pretty legit. All right, Dr. Sid, all clone show. All right, I believe. Is it this next one? A Rick Smith piece. Sweet. This is a nice foil. It's like the non-commander foil, foil, foiling. Let's see what else we get here. Mana Echoes. Oh, that's a full mythic here. This is a, like an old school, um, uh, I forgot, old school Onslaught maybe, or before, or Odyssey, I'm not sure. Wow, that's nice. I will take that. Let's see our first showcase card. Let's see what color it is. Is that Brainstorm? No, Academy Ruins. All right, this has this guaranteed rare, you know, so there's definitely no force of will around here. Let's go up here. Let's see if it says amateur on the bottom. Nope. What is this one? Toxic Deluge. All right, it's not a mythic, but man, that Richard Kane Ferguson art looks amazing. You know, a lot of people say he hasn't drawn magic in a while, and actually, I was looking through um, uh, my cards, and he actually drew Black Blade, Black Blade Reforge for that... Uh, Gideon uh, spell book. So right here, some of our foils, four tokens. All right, this is not how we want to start, but we can't complain. These are two good cards. Uh, I think I've owned Academy Ruins in you know every four set of VIP. So I have you know it's my third Academy Ruins. It's kind of funny you can see rares over and over again because they're twice as common as uh, the mythics. Right here, okay. All right, see what we get. Get germ token. I'm definitely replacing all my old school non full germ tokens in my Voltron decks with a germ token or a batter skull. All right, Let's sift through some of these. Oh, there's a piece from my Tron deck, Ancient Stirrings. Mistress Bobble. Ooh, that's great. Man, they, they keep banging artifact decks from modern. Um, what what is this man? Astrolabe. But this is still good in uh, Death Shadow. In Modern. Man Immortals. These are always together. I only see these two together. Is it Charm? This is the promo art. So that's pretty neat. Valor Stance. I always, you know, I feel like Brimstone Valley. I feel like we get we get the same pair of things paired up. Like Brimstone Valley and Val Valor Stance and Mistress Bobble and a Man Immortals always paired up. Let's see what we get here. Engineer Explosives. That's a nice foil. I have this in the um, extended art. It looks really nice. 
it's been reprinted too many times, so values dropped down to like less than five dollars maybe for this foil. Who knows? Let's see what else we get. Maelstrom Pulse. I do get a lot of full Maelstrom Pulse. I, I got a full one in, in one of my box openings. Uh, you can see right there. Full Maelstrom Pulse. Post. Pulse. All right. What rare do we want? We want Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Thopsy is still Fortune Mystic. Versus Tower. That's not a rare we want. We're just getting regular uh, pieces for Tron, not showcase pieces. It does look gorgeous, though. It's not worth as much, but it does look really, really nice. All right. Mythic. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is like a troll mythic. It's worth so little. I think the Urza Tron might be worth more than this sneak attack. A little hot dog right there. There's a little dinosaur in the wing. Oh, man. This is not really considered a myth. I mean, it's a mythic in symbol, but it's not mythic in price. <laughs> okay, the sweat is on. Oops, put that right there. Sweat is on. This force could be considered part of the Tron deck since they play forest. Okay, well, it is not looking good for our hero here. Yeah, I, mean, I should have just kept my money. <laughs> But, you know, anything to entertain my YouTube uh, audience here. Anything to entertain them. My hose, you know, seeing somebody else getting hosed is much better than seeing yourself getting hosed. All right. There's a full elemental token so here. All right, let's see if we get some metallic rebuke. That's a good card. All right, Urza's Tower right there. More pieces for my full Tron deck. That everybody and their mom will probably have. Every, everybody and their mom will have a Tron deck by the end of this. I haven't got any full Tron rare pieces yet. All the common ones. Valorous Dance again. Let's see if we get Brimstone Valley. Nope, Basalt Monolith. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. This is such a nice foil. Dismantle. Okay, we've actually seen that order. Valorous Dance, Basalt Monolith, Dismantle before. Sarah Sphinx. Oh, wow. I've not seen this one in that order. Voice of Resurgence. Downshifted to rare. Oh, it gives us a token, too. <laughs> right here. Let's see here. Warm Crawl. Oh, there we go. That's a full Tron piece. That's sweet. That is nice. Oof. All right. I don't even know which pile to put it in. The Tron pile or this pile. We'll put in the Tron piles for now. Another full Mythic. That's our second full mythic at Mana Echoes. Alright, let's see what we get. Fatal Push. Oh man, Fatal Push. Upshifted to rare. People were really angry that we got some rare, you mean uncommon uh showcase cards. Let's see what we got here. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Alright, we are not totally hosed. We are not totally hosed. This is a good one. A good one. Not it's it's not the lottery card, but you know, sometimes you, you gotta take what you can get. Oh we got a worm uh where is this? A worm token. That's considered part of a tron, right? You need you need both tokens. Let's see if we get the other worm token. Nope. It's kinda cool how they match the tokens to your uh pools. You got a voice of resurgence token and a worm token in there. It's pretty neat. So I got two No, that, that's not mythic. Um this one and worm crawl, two mythics. Two mythics here, so let's see. Let's end off strong. Please give me a sword. This is not as strong as our second pack. Oh man, you gotta watch that pack. That was one of the best four four box openings I've witnessed. And uh, you know, I, I didn't expect this to be any better than that. But wow. No, so, you know, Jace, at least at least there's some redemption. I've I've, I've seen some bad four boxes, so. There's some redemption there in Jace. That's interesting that they chose this art right here. Because a lot of people just have already painted the Bora extension to Jace. So it's something that we've seen over and over again over the past years. The Bora extended art. But never a Bora extended in foil though. So that's pretty neat. Alright. No more Tron pieces for my Tron deck. At least got a full Mythic. So that's that's good. Welding Jar, Treasure Mage. Okay, those are good. These are good cards right there. Galvanic Blast. Wow. Chief of the Foundry. 
Gore Clan Ranger. Gore Clan Rampanger. Skull Mulcher. Right there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Slow roll again since you want to have so many packs. Mystic Gate. Okay, that's a nice hit right there. Ratchet Bomb. Okay, not so nice. <laughs> Crop Rotation. Oh, man. Crop Rotation. Hosed again. Wow, my assignment level from, from here, now it's like down to, you can't even see it on camera, just just so low. <laughs> let's see here, let's see what color we get here. It's colorless. Equip two. Oh, it's a sword. Oh, oh my god. It's the worst sword. It's the worst sword. Sword of body and mind. At least we got a mythic. Wow. Got another forced here. Whew. You know, you win some. You lose some, but we got like two of the worst mythics possible right here. But we got Jace. So I did not break even. Not one bit. I did get the weird, awful brainstorm. Uh, I got, got counting ruins in every pack right there. Toxic Daily. So these, these cards are nice right here. So overall... Not the greatest of packs, but you know, you, you, you gotta accept those losses, right? You win some, you lose some. I'm actually glad I didn't get Meddling Mage. I would just rage and, and just tear that card up if I got it. I hate how they just, they know it's power, not powerful. They know it's not really desired. And they just add it in anyways. I'm not sure what goes to their marketing department. The marketing goes in and says, hey, you need to add a bad card. They'll just be like, okay, we'll just add this crappy Meddling Mage. Like, I'm okay with, you know, Cards with low value that they thought were, you know, really good will have a high value. Maybe it's the art. Um, but Sneak Attack, you know, has low value, but it's, it's a good card. You can't complain. Like, this this addition's good. It just doesn't have a, that much value. And these, uh, I got three of these uncommon, common, com common, uncommon, common, upshifted to rare. So that's, that's that, that really stings a lot. Um, you know. Overall, decent pack. Lost money, but had a fun time opening it in front of you guys. You know, if if you were to open some of these cards, like, would you keep it or would you just sell these cards? Like, is pack opening just to to see how see if you win the lottery, and then if you don't, just keep rolling on as much as you can to win the lottery, or you know, are you are you actually gonna keep the cards? I I'm for me, I enjoy pack opening. I enjoy collecting. I'm, I'm not gonna collect uh, a set of forty of these. That's just way too costly. Um, Unless, you know, I, I, I opened the Mana Crypt or some ex the, the more expensive cards and I, I would have collected it. So, yeah, what are you guys going to do with your VIP openings? Uh, leave your answers in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Thumbs up for Jace. You know, he's got a little, little thumbs up. Hit the smash that subscribe button. Jace wants you to smash the subscribe button. And as always, have a wonderful day.